Black Ops, lock and load. Hi, this is Zobble 1975 and today I'm bringing you a video showing you everything wrong with Black Ops 3. Or at least in my opinion, everything wrong with Black Ops 3. We've got an incredibly laggy lobby. We've got a Puke Town remake. And I get killed over and over again by stupid bullshit specialist abilities. And I'm using a cheap tactic such as trip mines and shock charges, which is just plain easy free kills. Oh, and mine and Elliot's teammates are spectacular. Just wait until the scoreboard comes up. But anyway, why am I bringing you this video? Well, to be honest, I'm bringing it to you because it's kind of annoying after all this time they haven't fixed connectivity in a Call of Duty game. And Black Ops was always notorious for the fact you always end up playing Nuketown and the connection was shit. Lo and behold, Black Ops 2, you always played Nuketown and the connection was shit. And Black Ops 3, you always play Nuketown, and the connection is shit. Really, after this many years of doing Black Ops games, you'd have thought Treyarch would have sorted it out and got some dedicated servers on the go, or Activision would have stepped in and said, look, let's get some dedicated servers in here, or can you guys netcode your game better so we don't get this much lag online? But no, we're still peer-to-peer, -peer. we haven't got dedicated servers, and we've still got a massive amount of lag issues in a game like Black Ops 3 crazy after all those years but hilariously and this is the same with black ops 1 and black ops 2 despite the connectivity these, these are still some of the most fun call of duties to play absolutely insane imagine what the, how good they'd be if they had actually had good connectivity especially black ops 1 black ops 1 with good connectivity would have been a great great game black ops 2 if it had great connectivity would have been one of the best games ever Oh, and this thing is just so OP. This is uh, my first game using the Purifier. I've never used it before. And the range on it is just horrifying. And the insta-kill melt shit is really, really potent. As you can see. I kind of choked here, but um, I think it's a fairly good spree for the first time I used the Purifier. I only actually use this specialist because I unlocked a stupid dance move before this game and I wanted to show Elliot so I'm quite sure I did come in the top three and managed to show Elliot my incredible amazing dance moves but I think you can see how bad the lag is I haven't done anything post-production with this I've just left the gameplay pretty raw and I haven't cut anything out of it and you can see the jittering the jump steps this is lagging like shit there was one guy on the other team who was host and he was the only one who stayed on four bar connection everyone else bounced around so wrong now, this is me and Elliot playing, and neither of us had great internet connections, it's got to be said. So when we're matchmaking, it tends to put us in lobbies with shit hosts. If Pokey hosts, we tend to get in better lobbies. So, it's always advantageous if I'm playing with someone else, because when I'm searching for games on my own, or Elliot's searching for games, we can get in a lot of shit laggy lobbies. But, as you can see, I'm still putting in work, I'm still getting a decent amount of kills. I'm dying more than I'd like to and I'm dying a lot of times to lag or strange sort of glitchy movements but all in all I'm doing okay I mean that is proper lagginess now I've never liked Nuketown on any of the Black Ops games in Black Ops 1 I found it annoying and campy in Black Ops 2 I found it annoying and spawn trappy and in Black Ops 3 it's too over colourful and just hilariously shit I don't like it at all. They have changed up some of the lines of sight and made it slightly better with the um, curvature of the map, which kind of helps a little bit against the spawn trappy nature of it. But all in all, it's still Nuketown and I still hate this map. I've posted in the past some really good gameplays on this map, so it's not because I do badly on this map I hate it, I just hate it because it's Nuketown because it's just dull, it's so small, it's so rushed, there's no need for any tactics or strategy, you just basically run head forth and hold the trigger down, you'll kill someone. It's also a map that encourages quite a bit of camping. Now as it's a TDM gameplay and me and Elliot are on the same team, that means our teammates have to be awful to compensate. It's just one of those things, 
they have to be absolutely useless to compensate. It, 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 oh, they just do it. It's, it's the way it goes. It's what happens. I don't know why. You know, I don't know what the need is with the matchmaking in this game to handicap you if you've got a reasonable KD. But LC at the end, basically, me and Elliot, the only ones on our team that are actually killing anybody. And Elliot outscores me in this game. He gets his score streaks in, which I don't. But then we were both lagging really badly, and it was kind of a crap shoot out there as to whether you could do well. The funny thing is, though, posting this and moaning about all the things wrong with Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, the connectivity, the bad matchmaking, even the supply drops and the pay to win aspect which is really frustrating I've got to say it's still a reasonably fun casual shooter if you get a group of people or a couple of your friends on it is you know a fun colorful bright entertaining few games you can have running around together killing people and that's what Call of Duty should be it's really annoying that Treyarch make some of my favorite Call of Duties but they also make some of the laggiest Call of Duties. I just wish they'd learn from the errors of the past. And it's just bizarre that you know we're in a position now on Xbox One where we're still suffering the same problems that they had in Black Ops One. Added to that, they've added in this whole supply drop element and charging cash for kids to buy camos and guns and shit. It's just plain wrong in my opinion. It is profiteering on a huge scale and I've said before I don't mind it in free to play games because that's how you make your money but in a triple a title where you've brought the game and the season pass that should entitle you to all the content in the game it shouldn't be content denied to you because you're not willing to waste money on supply drops that's just playing wrong and profiteering anyway there's my stupid dance move and that's it for me using the firebreak i think and that's all thank you very much for watching